What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. A recent report on the damage done to homes by the flooding in July of last year states that nearly 9,000 homes were damaged or destroyed, and the estimated cost to repair or rebuild those homes is between 450 and 950 million. So we used, I, I should say that our our dead data set and the report that we generated was using FEMA's data. It's called Open FEMA. So our analysis comes from the pool of individuals who actually applied for FEMA aid. So it's very possible that our estimates are low because we're not capturing people whose homes were damaged that didn't apply for that aid. We are, we are asking, we and, and several others across the state are asking the state to step in and take some action here. Um, you know, appropriate funds both for, for this disaster but also for future disasters and, and to set up just a, a mechanism within the state to be responsive to housing need after disaster for recovery. While many flood survivors throughout eastern Kentucky struggle with their housing situation, the cost of building materials continues to increase. One of the problems is that so many people have lost everything and they're starting with a deficit. They're not even starting uh, equal or where they were at. They've lost it all. FEMA didn't make them whole. Less than 5% of the families that were flooded had flood insurance. So what do you do? It is so poor, important that we get uh, private and public investment for housing. This flood is going to cause more people to leave because they don't have options. This investment is critical for people staying here in the Commonwealth and here in Letcher County. Many people don't want to leave, but they're left without a choice. Many of those whose houses were damaged by the flood were low-income families who will find it challenging or impossible to rebuild. The gap between those in need and the money needed to help them will continue to grow if something isn't done. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.